This video will save you a lot of time and a small fortune. For many expats, when they move to the Philippines, they quickly discover that this is the best decision they have ever made. Unfortunately, however, several mistakes are common in the expat community which can cause difficulties short term and long term. So here are common mistakes, my mistakes, but more importantly, my advice to avoid this unpleasantness. Overpacking. If you are planning to retire in the Philippines or move full time, you will likely have a long list of items that you will need to take. And even though some of these are essential, such as medicine and injections, others such as books and sun cream are not. The Philippines has a fantastic domestic market filled with many different products from all over the world. Of course, taking some personal products is no problem, but you don't need to take 1000 face masks, earplugs and those kind of things as many of those products can be found in the Philippines cheaply. Secret backup cash. Creating a small pot of backup cash is essential, especially if you tend to overspend. Even though the Philippines is a cheap country to live in for most Western foreigners, there are also some large expenses. For example, taxation in the Philippines is on the high end and medical costs can quickly add up. Foreign bank cards. There is an ATM fee for foreign cards with many mainstream banks, which is 200 pesos. ATM fees is one of those examples of expenses slipping under the table. Most people don't keep a record of their ATM fees each month, but if you are frequently using your foreign bank card, you may find that the fees add up to 30 or $40 a month. Eating like a pig. What any expat will tell you about the food Food costs in the Philippines is that they are low. You will be able to find many local Filipino dishes for only a few dollars. So it's easy to get in the pattern of unhealthy eating. Not many bloggers will talk about this subject as it is quite a boring subject for many people. But the reality is that many expats find themselves with unhealthy eating patterns when living in the Philippines. STD, mm -hmm. STI. So this video has taken an unexpected turn but here we are you are probably wondering why this has been mentioned. Well, prices for medical checks in the Philippines can be high, especially if you live in the city. But seriously, transmitted diseases are unfortunately common in the Philippines. This is a subject that the World Health Organizations and the Philippines governments have discussed in detail. You will be fine most of the time. Just be safe, you know what I mean? 